Hello again, everyone. Black Mirror from 2013, I do believe, and this is the beginning of chapter two. Stuff happened. Uh, we saw things and fell down the stairs, as you do. Um, and we were, um, well, nursed back into consciousness by, well, apparently, anyway by a maid who appears to be familiar with what we just saw. Interesting. No. Oh. What a nice and lovely weather we seem to be having. Right, let's go and have some breakfast. We were told to. Master David, nice of you to grace us with your presence. Hey now, about the spiders, you know, are you really should sure embrace them unless they're like hiding on your closet. Just saying. I appreciate your patience. I've had the staff prepare some of the finest Scottish delicacies for you. Black pudding, haggis, scrambled eggs with deer brain, and bacon. And that's supposed to be breakfast. Oh, that... That's haggis? Uh... Believe it or not, but that actually looks less revolting than I thought it would be. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay, so you can do this in two ways. You could either, like, eat stuff um, and yeah then just use the napkin to uh, call it a meal or you could just use the napkin straight away but um, you really should eat you know in the local woods. Uh, yeah that's probably more than easy you know Uh, uh, incidentally, uh, weird original foods, like haggis and, uh, <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing in general. Um, well, they certainly might seem uh, a little bit uh, dodgy at first glance. Um, at least try them if we have the opportunity. Uh, some of them, uh, not weird, fair enough, but they don't have to taste bad for that, for it, you know? Uh, I used to live on Iceland for, uh, well, I, I lived on Iceland for a brief period of time and I did try that uh, Svith, that is the um, uh, baked half of a um, sheep's head um, it, it, it sounds weird yes it is and it, it looks really really interesting <laughs> in Icelandic of um, freezing compartments at the uh, grocery stores uh, but it it has a very strong lamb taste and uh, if you like the taste of lambs um, you're gonna be fine eating spit. Uh, soured ram's testicles, though. Let's, let's just finish breakfast and move on. I never did try that one. Although I did actually, uh, completely by accident. Thank you. I'm sure our local um, Right, as I was gonna say, I did by complete accident try a uh, soured variant of um, 
think black pudding is what you call it. Um, some uh, basically cooked blood with stuff in. I recommend the non-soured one wholeheartedly. Ah, well, the non-soured one above the sour one, for sure. Anyway, uh, yeah, that, that was. I hope no one was watching this eating breakfast after a uh, rough uh, night out. Um, right, I think we're going to go this direction. No? Yes, that is an important question. Oh, and we need to speak with the dude some more. The dude butlery person. Yes, Master Dude. You've worked for the family all your life. Yes, Master David. Save my time serving in Swaziland. You served in South Africa? Oh, indeed, sir. During the Boer War, but Sir Edward intervened and I was able to return unharmed from that most futile conflict. Okay, so we seem to have been involved in some colonial affairs. Well, good to have him with us. May I ask, the maid, she seems nervous, almost afraid of me. She's afraid of everything. You don't think much of her? I do not, sir. And, if I may be so bold, one of Lady Gordon's earrings has gone missing. You suspect the maid? Not my place to say, Master David. That's a bit of a dick move. But we'll deal with it if we happen to have the opportunity, sure. Uh, how many staff are there? Nowadays, only myself, the maid, and Rory the gardener. I suppose you could include the lawyer, too, if that is work. Not many for such a big house. If you felt like hiring more staff, I would not complain, sir. But of course, not everyone is suited to work in this house. Do we have the money to employ more people, though? There are some implications that we actually don't. Well, good day to you. Indeed, sir. Okay. Will we see some armors in here? making very little sense, but we are where we should be. Oh, wait, let's, uh, let's examine this. Just how old is the Gordon plan? For all I know, it can stretch back to Roman times or even further. Uh, Lady Margaret. David. May I first apologize for my strange behavior last night? It's just that... Uh, think nothing of it. You are obviously tired from your travels. Least said, soon as mended. I want to give her another reason to think of that. Uh, this may seem like an unusual question. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, dear boy. Have I ever been here before? Is it possible I visited as a child and can no longer remember? Oh no, you are a stranger to these walls. And I have a feeling you prefer it stayed that way. Is there something wrong with your hand or is that just the animation being uh, interesting? Uh, what kind of man was my grandfather? Oh, he was magnificent. He was handsome, so handsome. And caring. 
carry enough to knock a defenseless child down the stairs. All was so very different when he was around. We seem to live in parallel realities. I wonder if the game is going to make a make a thing with that. The maid. She seemed to be acting strangely, like she was frightened of me. Yes, well, she's a simple sort, that one. She has probably heard of the curse of the Gordons the locals like to whisper about. Curse? What curse? Just a peasant superstition. I would guess she was worried you'd show the same displays of unpredictable violence as your father did. I never knew my father to be the violent type. Oh, there are many things you do not know about your father. This is his doing. What? But, but how? I'd rather not discuss it, David. And that maid should really keep her mouth shut and locate the earring she lost. She's like a magpie with shiny, expensive things. Okay. So our father was very caring and loving and uh, um, it is at least implied that um, he is scarred from uh, an attempt to hang her. Um, okay. Uh, let that one lie for now, I guess. We're not gonna make much headway there. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. Oh, and David, the master of the house needs to respect the privacy of those under his roof. Even your father understood that. Sometimes a cabinet is locked for a reason. So, uh, the game lets us either lie or be truthful here. I don't remember what I did in my first playthrough. But let's... Well, she seems to be cool about it though, so... Let's be honest, it was important. Number two. I was looking for some documents and Andrew had already gone to bed. I would still appreciate you respecting the rules of this house. You're not its owner quite yet. Ah, oh, now I realize she's not holding her pipe. Is that just a glitch? Maybe? Hmm. Well. Anyway, more point and click business to take care of. We don't need to talk anymore. Yes, 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 but first. I want to examine... Oh, okay. Can't examine that one. Uh, what am I taking? Margaret's lost aim. Not stolen after all. The cold doesn't seem to affect the residents of this house. All the fires are fighting and losing battle against the draft. Hmm. Ah, now we can examine that photo frame. I've learned so far about Grandfather Edward. Maybe Margaret still worships him. Okay, that does seem to be a pipe in the ashtray, but she's still. Um, her hand is curled up, as if she is holding the pipe. I guess I will call that a uh, modeling goof, which is okay. Worst things have happened. Let's have a look at these in the inventory. I'm uh, no expert on fashion, but this looks like a rather old-fashioned design. I don't want that hanging off my ears, no sir. 
Okay. Ah, well, sure. Let's let's just take a moment to save the game. telling me to leave from leave the room through the stairs in front of the fireplace I mean here huh yeah like that is not in front oh that is opposite okay Fix that for you walk through author. Okay. Mm -hmm. Over here. Kitchen by uh, morning light, maybe. Uh, don't jump out of your skin, please. Uh, Miss Cranons? Isn't that used for transporting cooked food? Why is there blood in it? Ugh, the wee scammer thought it would be funny to put one of his dead beasties in it to fear me. He should keep them in the cellar and... Sorry, sir. I'm speaking out of turn. Did you ever talk to my father? I was serving here when he... That is to say, I... Go on, please. I didn't think it would be proper, sir. Lady Margaret... Oh, sorry, sir. I must get on with my work. She's as scared of Margaret as she is of the butler. Poor girl. Um, you said my father saw things. I don't want to talk about it, sir. I notice the attic door is locked. You'd best ask Angus, sir. I hardly go up there. The mere mention of the attic terrified her. What is in there? I think you may have lost this. Oh, sir! Oh, thank you, sir. I only wanted to see how it looked in the mirror. I didn't mean to. I was scared to tell her ladyship. She can have such a temper. What are you going to do now? Uh, if I can sneak it into the salon, maybe her ladyship will think she lost it there herself. From what I know about her, I very much doubt her ladyship will. Um. Okay, but if you wanted to put it on and look at it in the mirror. How did it end up in the fireplace? Kind of a relevant question. What happened to my father here? I'm sorry, sir. You're not like the rest of them here. Oh, sir, there's things you should know, but I really need this job. She knows something, but how can I convince her to trust me? Would you like me to escort you to the cellar? Wouldn't be proper to ask the owner of the house to do that, sir. Well, I'm not the owner yet. And you didn't ask. Very kind of you, sir. Happy to help. I'll let you know when I'm ready to accompany you down there. I shall leave you to your work. Oh. Let's see. Curs are doing the magic. Right, let's see. Okay. 
we'll be exploring something new today, namely the basement. And while we really aren't in any risk of dying here, I'm going to save anyway. <laughs> You're gonna understand why. Shall we? Where are you even moving? The, the controls are really strange. At least with the keyboard. Let's see what we can find down here. So yeah, Greenfall Chapters has this game beaten uh, monstrously um, in terms of just the control experience. But that is just one thing. The proper serving of fire is the only way to get rid of such a widespread infestation. Well, seeing as you're holding a light or yes, candle, as close as I get. Otherwise, I have crawling all over me. I have to find a way to eliminate the right. Let's look at something else, apparently. Magic of what variety? We don't do illusions. Oh, yeah, uh, fair warning. Let's um, look at a bit of gore to round off the episode before we go on and deal with the spiders. Some of these whiskeys are from local distilleries. Yeah, isn't that nice? Is that deer Angus mentioned? Looks fresh. Uh, Master Eddie's work. He and Mr. McKinnon put it here earlier. Poor beastie. Eddie, another family member I've yet to meet. And then there is this thing right here. I hope we're not watching this full screen on a big TV, so we or big screen. Period. Uh, is a tub full of blood. Delightful, yes. Ooh, a lot of blood for just one animal. Let's remember that. Um, for the record, I think a human has between two and five liters of blood in the system, uh, depending on age and you know size. That's a lot more than that. I would say we're looking at uh, 20 to 50 liters. Um, unless the developers were taking liberties, there is literally no way all that would have come from the deer. I don't know if that is, uh, you know, an actual thing we should keep in mind, but um, Not the most hygienic work let's station. stick a pin in that for now. A hunting map. Looks like they've been poaching outside the Golden Estate. Oh, that's not good. Oops. 
Step right up. Sir? What are you... Oh, my! Oh, that's amazing! Uh, does that not hurt? No. A little trick I learned in India. I didn't think... Huh. Meet Eddie. And you are? Edward Malori. You may call me Edward III. So this is Cousin Eddie. He seems... Welcome to my castle. As terrible as the rest of them. My castle indeed. Pleased to meet you, Eddie. So, your parents would be my aunt and uncle Clara and Victor. Are they... Dead. Dead as door nails, the pair of them. Lovely. That is very crass. You've lived here all your life, so you would have met my father. Only after he lost what marbles he had left. If it were up to me, I'd have locked him up in the loony bin a bit sooner. Locked him up? So what are you doing down here anyway? There's a line between honesty and rudeness that Cousin Eddie doesn't seem to recognize. I was helping Miss Cranon. Oh, Why didn't you ask me? Excuse me, sir. Sirs, I really have to go. Leaving so soon? Was it something I said? They all tend to act like that in the presence of nobility. You said something about a loony bin? I did. Oh. Oh. You don't know. Well? Oh, never you mind. I have an animal to prepare. I'm getting very tired of everyone in this house avoiding my questions. There's something you should know, sir. Something important. I overheard them talking and I... Uh, you're paid to work, not chat. Get to it, girl. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. Library after dinner. At last. I might get some answers. Okay. Well... This seems like a good place to end the episode, so I will do just that. See you in the next one, and um, yeah, uh, this was, I think, the uh, messiest uh, part of the game we will see for quite a while. Mm. Well, I do remember that we are going to be fishing through that uh, tub of blood later on, uh, but it will take a while until it gets um, yeah. Heavy on the horror. Over and out, over and out for now. Sorry, let's not do the Canadian accent just yet. See you next time.